Have you tried these new chips? They're perhaps a guilty pleasure, but as far as snack foods go, who doesn't love a crunchy bag of greasy chips? What's your favorite kind of potato chip? Ketchup. Sour cream and onion. Barbecue or uh, smoky bacon. But it's those chips that are at the center of a battle royale between two Canadian food industry giants. In one corner, food processing heavyweight PepsiCo, the parent company of potato chip manufacturer Frito-Lay. In the other, Loblaw, the country's largest grocer. It's a massive organization not selling to a massive organization. So this is probably a first, I would say, in, in the country. It means shoppers will no longer be able to buy Frito-Lay's brand products at any of the 2,400 Loblaw-owned retail stores across the country. Not at Superstore, no Frills or Shoppers Drug Mart. Why? It's all about price. I think that this uh, whole situation is an indication of how challenging it's been for everyone in the supply chain over the last two years. There's been an enormous amount of pressure on the cost of goods. Citing the rising cost of ingredients, packaging and transportation, a spokesperson for PepsiCo Frito-Lay said their prices had to be adjusted. When Loblaw said no, the manufacturer stopped shipping its chips. It's not really going to affect me much. I'm not addicted to Lay's, so if it's not there, then I will get what I want. But, but I do shop different places, not only Superstore. Except, says this industry analyst, this dispute is about more than just any one snack. Rising costs have been fueling tension between retailers and companies supplying the goods. I actually do think that PepsiCo is out there representing more than just PepsiCo. This is about the processing industry in Canada. And who, at the end of the day, should pay? Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.